what you're looking at here is the Google appliance. Right now we have it connected in via a web browser. That web browser is internal to the Google system which allows us to actually connect in and configure the Google appliance. In doing that we're able to keep the network here which is our primary corporate network on a separate network from the Google appliance configuration therefore no one can actually connect in to make any changes unless you're physically connected to the Google appliance so we got that hooked up and the next step is going to be configuring the Google appliance getting the IP addresses put on there Google server labeled up. That's the one key thing you got to remember. Label your equipment. Now when you look in there you see we labeled it there on the back. That's looking good. So we're going to bring it back in and say don't forget label your cables. Makes it easy when someone's coming behind you trying to troubleshoot. You got your cables labeled. We got one cable going in. That's going to come out the yellow port. Plug that into a port here. We're going to go a little bit through that. That's going to give us our network connectivity. We've already went ahead and pre-labeled our cables. We'll go ahead and get those wired up. Get that real tight. Okay, you know, that's going to give us a nice plug in and we can find that port down there. Got to pick up the cable, but hey, we dropped that sometimes too. Let's keep it going. Alright, so we got the cable. Let's go up and get that plug in. That's F4302. We went ahead and got that plug in. It's good to go. Uh, stick with us. We're going to go on the other side. Get this popping rewired TV. Digital.